Hey guys, a little while ago, I uploaded a video on cloud gaming, which a lot of you really liked it. So, I thought, why not talk about another cloud gaming website today, where you can not only play games, but also run other apps as well. Now, this website depends completely on your internet connection. The better and more stable your internet, the better performance you'll get. In this video, I'll show you how to access the website and claim your free device. Just watch the video till the end to understand everything. Let's roll. First, you need to open your browser, and here's a quick tip. I recommend creating a new profile in Chrome for a smoother experience. Once that's done, head over to the search bar and type speed test. Now, open the very first website that appears at the top of the search results. This step is important because you'll need to test your internet speed here. Once you're on the website, run a quick speed test. Here, you can see how low my ping is, which means I can use this emulator without any issues. However, if you're getting high ping results, the performance might not be as smooth as expected. So make sure to check your internet connection beforehand to get the best experience. Next, open a new tab in your browser and type T Cloud in the search bar, then hit enter. Once the search results appear, click on the following website to open it. On the home page, you'll see an option for web login. Simply click on it to proceed. Now, you have the choice to log in using your Facebook or Google account. For this tutorial, I'll go ahead and log in with Google to keep it quick and easy. Let me complete the sign up process real quick. Once your sign up is done, you'll be greeted with an interface that looks something like this. Once you're on the interface, you'll see two options. The first is to purchase your own device, and the second is to use their free version. I'll go with the free option for now, but if you like their service, you can always opt for their paid subscription later. For the free option, head over to the points section. Here, click on sign to claim your coins. Once you've claimed the coins, click on exchange. After that, select the free device option, hit buy, and just like that, you'll have access to the device for two hours. If your session time runs out, you can use another email to claim it again and continue using it. So, our device is ready. Let's open it and check it out. Additionally, you have the option to change your server if needed. Make sure to select a server with the lowest latency for the best performance. Once the device is launched, head straight to its main settings. Here, set the quality to low to minimize any lag during usage. This will ensure a smoother experience. As you can see, the device we claimed is successfully launched and running very smoothly. Speaking of its features, it comes with Android 10, which is quite impressive. Plus, it also supports the Play Store, so you can easily install your favorite apps and games. Additionally, since you'll have high-speed internet on this device, you can easily download games through Chrome as well. But the best option here is to sign up on the Play Store and download directly from there. As you can see, I've already signed up, and you can see how quickly the game is downloading. It's super fast and smooth. Just remember, the performance of this emulator entirely depends on your internet connection. The better your internet, the better performance you'll get. I tried playing Free Fire on this emulator, and the main issue I encountered was with the key mapping, as it doesn't have built-in key mapping support. Overall, this cloud emulator is really good, but these two issues are worth noting, the key mapping and the time limit. However, if you're looking for a website where you don't need to sign up and can play games with your keyboard, then video on the left is perfect for you. Just click on it and we'll meet again.